Hello. In this health sketch, we want to talk to you about Kleinfelter syndrome, a genetic condition that affects boys. It is named after Dr. Harry Kleinfelter, who first described the condition in 1942. Around the world, roughly one in every 600 boys that are born will have Kleinfelter syndrome. Why does Kleinfelter syndrome occur? Unlike other genetic conditions, it is not directly inherited from parents, although older mothers or fathers may be at slightly increased risk of having an affected son. The condition happens randomly when the genes are first formed. Our genes are like a code which determine how we look and how our body works. All of these genes are wrapped up in 46 chromosomes, which are found in every cell of the body. Of these 46 chromosomes, one pair is different between boys and girls, the sex chromosomes X and Y. Girls have two X chromosomes, while boys have an X and Y chromosome. However, in Kleinfelter's syndrome, there is an extra copy, or copies, of the X chromosome. Most commonly, this means that instead of their chromosomes being 46 XY, there are 47 XXY. The extra X chromosome means that their bodies develop slightly differently. The testes do not function properly and produce less of the hormone testosterone. The syndrome is very variable, and some boys have very few obvious symptoms. In fact, many people with Kleinfelter syndrome will go through life without ever being diagnosed. However, the lower levels of testosterone and the extra chromosome can lead to some of the following features. Reduced fertility or infertility. Being taller than expected and with slight changes to body shape. Lower muscle tone and strength. Less facial and body hair. Sometimes more breast tissue, called gynecomastia. Low mood and anxiety. Finding social situations difficult. Low energy levels. Difficulties in some thinking skills used in daily life, such as planning, focusing attention, and juggling tasks. Changes to behavior and learning, such as language development difficulties, although intelligence is usually unaffected. Apart from these features, Men with Kleinfelter syndrome also have a slightly increased risk of developing other long-term health problems including weak bones, type 2 diabetes, heart disease and blood clots, autoimmune disorders, dental problems, increased risk of male breast cancer. These may seem like a long list, but the condition is very variable and most will experience few problems. However, if you suspect Kleinfelter syndrome, then it is worth seeing a doctor to get a formal diagnosis, as treatment and support can reduce the chance of problems developing. Diagnosis is confirmed by a blood test, which checks for the extra chromosome through a genetic test. For adults, other tests can also be helpful, such as checking blood testosterone levels and fertility tests such as sperm count. While there is no cure for Kleinfelter syndrome, Testosterone replacement therapy is effective for treating some of the symptoms. This is usually not required until after puberty, and it can be provided in various ways, such as gels, tablets, or injections. Other possible interventions include speech therapy, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy, educational and behavioral support at school, and psychological support. There are now fertility treatments which may help some to father children. Increasingly, multidisciplinary clinics are bringing these wide-ranging services together. It is important to remember that most people with Kleinfelter syndrome will lead normal and healthy lives. However, it can be upsetting and confusing to first learn about a new condition. Patient support groups are available to connect with other patients and families who may have gone through similar experiences. In this health sketch, we've talked about Kleinfelter syndrome, which is caused by an extra X chromosome in boys and leads to low testosterone levels. We describe the common features of the condition, how it is tested for, and the main forms of treatment, including testosterone replacement.